Hi everyone, it's Steve on the Guru Brew. This is the Sony BGN NR120E and we're going to restore it back to factory settings. So hang out for that. I've just set up an external keyboard and um, mouse here because I don't like using touch pads on laptops so that's why this keyboards here so on a Sony what you want to do is start from the off position and then get ready with the F10 key F10 turn on the power and then start tapping the F10 here we go You'll come up with this boot option. All you have to do at this point is just press the enter key. And this will just take a few seconds to load up. Okay, so we're still loading up after we pressed F10 on this Sony uh, laptop. And you can see that the recovery tools are now loading and it has this aqua color screen. Okay it has come up to the recovery center options and we are going to put this back to factory default so you want to use your mouse and click on the one that says restore C drive here click and then you'll get a message about how it's going to restore it back to factory condition and this will erase everything that's on your hard drive so if you want to save pictures or anything like that make sure you do that first before you um, go ahead with this program we're just going to come up here I've already saved everything off on this so I'm just going to hit the start button here and then you have a couple different options here before you do a factory restore they want you to try using a Windows system restore or a hardware diagnostics program we're just going to continue on and skip here next this is considered radical so they want you to try everything else first okay so it's gonna delete everything on the C drive and it's warning me here and it's outlining exactly what's going to happen so I have to click this little box here that says I agree and again they're basically warning me that everything that I put on this computer or my client put on this computer such as pictures or favorites or documents will be gone so I clicked I understand and start one more sure yes and here it goes so you can see it's at zero percent it's now running and also make sure that you do plug in your power cable on your laptop before you start this because this can take upwards of an hour and if your battery runs out it can be bad so make sure you're plugged in okay as soon as something happens it's moving along here kind of slowly as soon as something changes I'll be back just be patient with it okay I'm back again I just glanced over and noticed that this computer was restarting so I thought I'd turn my camera on and record what's happening next um, as far as I know all the files were loaded back onto the hard disk and it's just now restarting okay there it says Windows Vista please wait a moment while Windows prepares to start for the first time so this is gonna drag on for a little while I'll be back well just an update I'm still at this please wait screen with this circular clock and uh, it's been this way about maybe 10 minutes it looks like something else is happening now well it's been about 20 minutes since I started this recovery process and it's restarted and it's now installing and setting up all these window components 
and you can see it's at 54% and it's putting on all the stuff that came with this machine originally I can see where it's putting on QuickBooks it'd be nice if they gave you an option of the kind of stuff you wanted to put back on it but unfortunately it just loads you up with whatever they feel is necessary for you to get so anyway I'm just gonna wait till this is finished and then I'll be back so you can see by these check marks we've got one more check to go all right I'll be back we're still working on this Sony Vista machine it's been installing all the programs and hardware and software drivers and hopefully this will be the last restart before it comes up Sony really does put a lot of stuff on their computers just like HP you know this is a Sony Vio and it's loaded I don't know why they want to put all this software on here and it's software that you probably will never use a lot of like extensions and toolbars and that sort of thing so it's coming up here hopefully it'll ask for my name so I can get this thing set up well I finally made it to the welcome screen And you can see there's still a bunch of uh, windows and stuff going off here. Well, look at that. They install a Spider-Man wallpaper. That's what I mean. Why do they think I want Spider-Man? Look at all this stuff here they put on my desktop already. It's a brand new install. AIM, AOL, a bunch of AOL stuff. There's Norton there. Office trials warranty registration oh my all kinds of stuff this is probably going to go on for a while I'll be back okay I finally made it to the setup screen took a long time it really did so I'm just accepting the licensing agreements and so forth the rest of this is pretty self-explanatory you're just going to set yourself up on a, a user account and um, you know just like you did when it was brand new well that's it for this Sony Vios laptop computer where we reinstalled the operating system Vista just remember the F10 is your friend and when you start the machine up go ahead and start pressing F10 that'll take you to the recovery partition then you can go ahead and follow the prompts on through so thanks for watching. We hope you got some use out of this video. Leave us a thumbs up if you like it and a comment. It's always appreciated. We'll see you next time. Bye for now. Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.